Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a numerical on earthwork quantity by using mean sectional area method. In previous videos we have covered three, three methods, mid sectional area method, trapezoidal method and prismoidal method or formulas. Now in this method, this is the last method for calculation of earthwork quantity in which we will be, say, uh, will be looking or we will be learning mean sectional area method. So let's see what is the problem statement. See the problem statement they have given figure shows the levels plotted for a road work. They have given a figure. I will show you in the next slide. They have given various levels and it is plotted on a uh, particular figure. The formation level of a road at the starting point is 530 meter. Remember this. Formation level at the starting point of the road is 530 meter. The road surface shall have a rising gradient of 1 in 100. The road gradient will, a road surface will have a gradient of 1 in 100. Formation width will be 10 meter. Side slopes they have given 1 is to 2 for embankment and 1.5 is to 1 for cutting. And calculate the quantity of earthwork they have uh, told this. So what we have to calculate, we have to calculate the quantity of earthwork in embankment. We have to calculate the quantity of earthwork in cutting and the section that the method that we have to use is mean sectional area method. So let's see what section they have given. See, this is the section at zero meter chainage. What is the existing ground level? What is the formation level? Then what is the cutting or filling quantity? Similarly, at 50 meter, what is the cutting or filling quantity? It will be difference of these two. 535 minus 530, whatever it is. And plus 5 or minus 5, whatever it is. Plus means we have to cut that portion. See, this part will be in cutting. This part will be in filling or embankment. So, that is what uh, we have calculated, that they have given. So, how to calculate the quantities? Let's see. You have to prepare a table like this. Chainage, depth. B into D, S into D square, total area that is BD plus SD square, mean sectional area, it is the mean of these two values, length between the two stations, and it is a difference, difference in chainage is C, 0 meter, 50 meter, so that is what we have to take, and you have to check in the section that whether it will be embankment quantity or cutting quantity, depending upon the section. So let's calculate them one by one. How you can calculate? See this. First, the chainage is given is 0 meter. At 0 meter, what is the depth check? What is the depth at 0 meter chainage? It is 5 meter and that is in cutting. Here, see, because this is the formation level or gradient line and below, above that, there will be cutting quantity and below that, there will be filling or uh, filling quantity. So, this is the cutting quantity. Okay. So it is 5 meter depth. Now at 50 meter, let's check at 50 meter, it is 3.5. At 100 meter, it is 3.5. How you got this value? This is difference of these two. Ground level minus formation level. Okay. So I have written all the depths here. Difference of formation level and ground level, whatever it is. Then B into D. B into D. What is B into D? Depth is 5 meter that we know. What is B? Let's check in the numerical. They have given formation width is 10 meter. So 10 meter will be constant. So 5 into 10, 50. 3.5 into 10, 3, uh, 35. 3.5 into 10, 35. 0 0.5 into 10, 5. 4 into 10, 40. 3 into 10, 30. So B into D, we have got the values. Now S into D square. S they have given, see, it is 1 is to 2 for embankment and 1.5 is to 1 for cutting. Means S values will be 2 and 1.5. So that is what you have to take. S will be 2 or 1.5 depending upon whether it is cutting or filling, embankment or cutting. Let's check. For embankment it is 2. For embankment it is 2 and for cutting it is 1.5. Okay. So, how you call cal how I calculated this value C S. What is S? Let's check in cutting. It will be let's see. Let let me show you. Uh, in cutting it is 1.5. Okay. 
so 1.5 it should have been like this okay either 1 is to 2 means 1 horizontal or vertical whatever it is they have not mentioned it should have been 1 is to 1.5 what is 1 is to 1.5 that is the correction okay uh, so the question should be like this 1 is to 2 for embankment and 1 is to 1.5 for cutting okay so that is value of s so it is 1.5 that is clear 1.5 in cutting so 1.5 into 5 square that is d square now s into d square 1.5 into 5 square will give you value of 37.5 similarly 1.5 into 3.5 square will be 18.375 then again it is same then 1.5 into 0 0.5 square it is 0 0.375 1.5 into 4 square it is 24 1.5 into 3 square it is sorry 1.5 not uh, cutting 1.5 okay it is also cutting so 1.5 into 3 uh, 1.5 into 3 square will be 13.5 let's check another one now from this point 320 320 meter chain edge the values are in embankment so we have to take 2 meter what we have to take 2 meter so what will be the value of s s will be 2 meter so what is what uh, how we got this value 2 into 1.5 square 2 into 2.5 square 2 into 4.5 square so that will give you 40.57 and 2 into 4 square that will give you 32 so we have calculated the value of sd square now the total area total area will be addition of this bd plus sd square rectangular area plus triangular area so bd plus sd square will give you total area 50 plus 37.5 87.5 35 plus 18.375 53.375 so we have calculated the total area now what is mean sectional area remember this this is the only difference in the previous methods and this method that you have to take the mean sectional area what is mean mean is difference of these two areas 87.5 plus 53.375 divided by 2 average of these two values sorry not difference average of these two values it will be 87.5 plus 53.375 divided by 2 that will give you 70.437 then next one 53.375 plus 53.375 by 2 average of these two values will be same because these values are same so it will be 53.375 next one 53.375 plus 5.375 by 2 will be 29.375 next 5.375 plus 64 by 2 34.68 64 plus 43.50 by 2 53.75 now let's check next value because we have to add 43.50 plus something will be now uh, in the next slide it is 11.50 so what it will be 11.50 plus 43.50 by 2 will be 27.5 now come to the next point length between the station length between the stations 0 minus 50 50 100 minus 50 50 so we we have got the length as 50 because chain edge difference is 50 now so length will be 50 now how to calculate the cutting value or embankment value you can check that section whether it is in cutting see for 0 meter chain edge, it is in cutting. So, how you got this value? Length into area is the volume. Na? Length is 50 meter, area is 70.437. So, we got this value. Then, next one. So, what you have to do? You have to just multiply areas by the lengths. Now, next area. Next area will be 53.375 into 50 mean area into length that is 2668.75 meter cube. So in this way you have to calculate the quantities and depending upon the section you have to enter it in the embankment column or cutting a column. So similarly you can do the calculations for other, uh, other changes for example for 350 meter depth was 1.5 meter you can check the section in the previous slides you can rewind the video b into d b was 10 meters so 1.5 into 10 will be 1 15 meter sd square s for embankment see 350 is in embankment na? 
so s was let's check what was s for embankment it was 2 see here it was 2 for embankment so 2 into 1.5 square that is 4.5 now bd plus sd square this addition of this 2 that is 19.50 mean sectional area this plus this plus this by 2 so this is 28.5 19.50 plus 37.50 divided by 2 will be average of these two areas mean 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 area will be there so that is 28.50 and length will be 50 350 minus 400 that is 50 see here at a 0 meter chain edge the difference was let's check it huh? 320 minus 300 that is 20 meter chain edge was there okay and 350 minus 320 30 meter chain edge was there remember this and again the values were 50 meter changes constant change difference was there so after the addition after the calculation of all the quantities in meter cube what you have to do you have to add all this together in the previous slide see there is no embankment quantity only embankment quantity is starting from here so addition of all these values is this 8730 meter cube and addition of all the cutting values c in the previous slide it was this 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 and all this this all plus this 115 so it gives you a value of 13570.85 meter cube so this is the total quantity of earthwork in embankment and in cutting so this was the video on earthwork quantity by using mean sectional area method thank you